Zhuo III leads Portugal in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. King of Portugal in the 1500s, Zhuo is known for using shrewd trading practices rather than open warfare as a means of conquest. Portugal's unique ability, Casa da Inja, significantly increases the yields of international trade routes, but limits those routes to cities on the coast or with a harbor. This ability also grants trader units additional range on water and the ability to embark on water tiles as soon as they're unlocked. Portugal's unique unit, the Nau, is a naval melee unit that replaces the Caravelle. It starts with one free promotion, requires less maintenance than the Caravelle, and has two charges to build Feitorias. These special shipping ports, unique to Portugal, grant additional gold and production from trade routes to that city. A Feitoria can only be built by a now naval unit on a foreign coastal tile next to a luxury or bonus resource. Portugal's unique building, the Navigation School, replaces the university. It increases production towards naval units, increases science yields based on the number of coastal and lake tiles within the city's borders, and grants additional Great Admiral points. Zhuo's unique ability, Porta do Sarco, grants all units increased sight. It also increases trade route capacity whenever Portugal meets a new sieve and provides open borders with all city-states. Start the game by exploring a lot and try to meet every sieve as quickly as possible for free trade route capacity. Since Portugal can only trade internationally with cities on coast or with harbors, be sure to prioritize naval exploration. Further supercharge your trading with lots of alliances and policy cards like Triangular Trade and Whistlebunken. Once you build a navigation school, start cranking out now units for Feitorias. But plan carefully, because Feitorias have strict placement restrictions. Will you journey beyond your shores to share riches from distant lands? How will you lead Portugal in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?